2017 Mount Sac Cross Country Invitational, Division Three Boys Sweeps. Second place finisher, Moises Medrano from Highland Bakersfield, 1456 officially. Horse is running really fast. How did you feel on the course today? Uh, I felt amazing. Uh, I started off slower than I've had in previous years. And I think that hurt me a little bit, but I just felt super strong throughout the hills, throughout the race. And coming down that last reservoir hill, I just felt amazing. So it was a great race compared to previous years. Sometimes coming out conservative in this course has really paid off for runners. You said you kind of didn't quite feel it in a sense. Why did you, why did you, did you want to come out slower? And if so, why? Uh, I did want to come out slower uh, to have a stronger mid race and end. And I felt like that, that's exactly what I got. But I could have pushed a little bit harder that first part. Um, I think my problem this race was I went out a little bit too conservative. Gotcha. But it's just feeling amazing throughout the race paid off and it was worth it. I was able to make huge ground on the hills where people were struggling. Moises, do you know what your splits were at the mile and two mile marks today? I do not. I no. usually I like to tone that out to just focus on running. Gotcha. Excellent. How did you feel coming down the airstrip toward the finish? Did you feel like you left it all out there? Or did you feel like there was still a lot left? What was, what was going through your mind physically? Uh, physically, I felt amazing. I, I, I didn't go a hunt like all out and leave it all out there. Uh, I did finish out strong um, to like what I felt. But there was a, probably another gear I could have kicked into. If it was a closer race, I would have been able to dig in and got to. Okay. The uh, last year in, in cross country, you finished up very, really well at the end of the season, did nicely at state, track and field. You're one of the top 10 returnees nationally in the 800 coming back. Cross, and, and then track, I'm sorry, in the 800. Cross country right here, you're in a groove. And it seems like you were able to, to really focus in really well. What's your secret? If you, if you don't <laughs> mind sharing, I mean, you're able to, like I said, really focus well and come through when there's some pressure out there. I don't know if there's a secret. That's, I've, um, I've always liked the big competition right. and the pressure comes with. And for some reason, I just, I don't let it get to me. Like I just get excited with the racing, and it helps me do better. Uh, this season, though, cross country, I feel like I did a lot more base, so that's helped me a lot. I just feel amazing before and after races, even during them. As far as race prep, the night before or whenever you do your mental race prep, if you do. Do you really break everything down or are you try and keep it really simple? Which way do you go? I used to break it down previous years. This year I've kind of just, i switched that mindset, just coming in. I know it's going to be a good race and just, Very good. Kind of just remember the course, kind of feel like what it's going to be like, but just coming green and just race, enjoy the experience. It's senior year, last time I run these meets. So that's just my mindset, just enjoy them. Sub 15, was that one of your goals today or uh, what was the goal? <laughs> that wasn't, it was a thought. It wasn't a goal at all though. Uh, I didn't know how fast we'd go. I just knew I was going to push as hard as I can. Um, try, and of course, try to come to the kick because that's where my speed's at. But yeah, that was, a, that was a huge surprise. When I was coming in, that helped me dig in a little bit deeper finish because I saw the under, four, under 15. So uh, that was amazing. All right, so Moses Medrano, Highland Bakersfield. This guy is money on race day. Once again, today, second place here, D3 sweeps 1456 on the Mount Sac cross country course.